But this really strikes at the heart of the fundamental obligation of nursing homes. Keep your patients safe. A nursing home facility in East Oakland faces a lawsuit alleging horrific crimes. Good evening, I'm Ama Dates. And I'm Dan Ashley, thanks for joining us. Uh, we want to warn you that some of the details of this story really are disturbing, but we think it's important to bring them to light. Certainly, the lawsuit alleges rape, elder neglect, and fraud. The family behind the complaint says the abuse went on for months. And ABC 7 News IT reporter Stephanie Sierra is here with that story, one that you'll see only on 7 tonight. Steph? Yes, this story impacts the most vulnerable population. A cognitively impaired woman said to be suffering from both dementia and Alzheimer's, allegedly sexually assaulted. And the complaint filed is now raising serious questions about one of the largest nursing home operators in the state. These are bruises on Cheryl Doe, a 79-year-old former patient at Windsor Healthcare Center of Oakland. She and her son Robert allege the injuries are a result of a sexual assault that was swept under the rug. Robert says he admitted her here with hopes to keep her safe as she battles Alzheimer's and dementia. But he says the real battle happened inside the facility. The first time was a rape uh, assault and I didn't find out until two days later after it initially happened. This is the voice of Cheryl's son, Robert, who was kept anonymous to protect his family's privacy. Robert says his mom was raped by another resident living in the facility in August last year. He says a certified nursing assistant told him, not management. She said, your mom's been getting raped in this facility and they know about it and they chose not to tell you. According to the complaint, a CNA and a charge nurse knew about the alleged assault, but nothing was done. The complaint also says the facility denied it, but later acknowledged an employee witnessed it happen. Robert says several days after the first incident, the man was able to get back into her room and attack again. She retaliated against my mom and hurt her again. And she went and told one of the nurses, one of the nurses uh, called me again and said, your mom's going back to the hospital. He hit her, he beat her from bruises all over her arm and scrape marks on her knee. Attorney Ed Dudensing is a former deputy DA who is representing Cheryl and Robert. He says they're still in the preliminary stages of their investigation. How many people at this facility do you think were aware that this was going on? A lot of them. The complaint specifies two. Legal documents indicate after Cheryl was allegedly raped twice, there was a notation of it made on her medical chart days later. The I-team spoke to an employee working at the facility during that time. One of my colleagues walked in on the assault. She saw the man on top of her. The other employees were trying to sweep it under the rug. I encouraged her to tell Robert. For the past several weeks, the I-team has made efforts to get comment from Windsor Healthcare Center of Oakland, but haven't heard back. It's part of a chain of skilled nursing facilities operated by Brias Management Company, among other affiliates. And they have, you know, a history of failures of care that it not only involves resident on resident abuse like this case, but um, other areas of neglect as well. In 2018, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services fined the facility for failing to be in compliance with Medicare requirements and determined its deficiencies caused actual harm to one of its residents. We know that these nursing home operators, especially the large ones like the one that's involved here, that they respond to their pocketbook. And so we try to hold them accountable in that way. According to the complaint, numerous red flags put the corporate defendants on notice of serious problems at their facilities, including Windsor Healthcare. Brea's facilities have been the target of multiple civil lawsuits, as well as state regulatory actions arising from resident injuries, sexual assaults, felony abuse, and resident deaths resulting from their deliberate and habitual understaffing of facilities and abject failures to ensure resident safety. Uh, often it's, it's because of lack of staffing. The complaint also says the defendants knew Windsor Healthcare was troubled, but kept admitting new residents without increasing staffing and hid the problems from prospective families, including Cheryl's. She's an elderly woman. She doesn't deserve to be done like that. Cheryl was removed from the facility after her son says he learned of the second alleged assault. He says she's continuing her recovery at home now and says she is doing better, okay. but it's been very tough. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay, yeah. Stephanie, thank you. Yeah.